find out a few clues as to what he intends to bring over to Maidan next season. Many thanks for letting us come along today, Ian. First of all, Pleasure. most impressed with the facilities. Tell us about this place and how you've built it up over the years. Um, we've been here the best part of 20 years now, and um, when I started, I met my landlord, Patrick Kelly, and um, he said, if you have the success, Ian, I'll build the facilities you need. And uh, to be fair, that's exactly what he's done. And um, you probably noticed as you came in the drive, the sort of final phase has been the trainer's house and the owner's accommodation that we hope to have for the future, which will be completed probably in next summer. Very nice indeed. And for people who perhaps don't know because they've just seen you at the carnival, you are very much a, a dual-purpose trainer. What challenges do, do that bring, if, if any? Is it a bit difficult? I think, I think it's, it's challenging um, to the team. Um, probably challenging to my family as well because what it does mean is that it's uh, it's 12 months of the year um, we're busy during the summer with the flat team we're busy during the winter with the national hunt team and um, and we enjoy our little forays to Dubai which puts pressure on everybody um, and doesn't leave an awful lot of time for holidays and uh, looking after everybody I should be looking after and you're probably shy away from the description, but you're one of the best dual-purpose trainers that, that we've, we've got here. You must be delighted how it's worked out, certainly the last couple of seasons. Uh, there's, some, there's some very good um, trainers that are capable of doing, doing both codes, but um, the last couple of years have been very, very good to us. We've managed to um, get some quality horses. Uh, it's been great to go to Dubai and, and win races there. It's been great to have a Cheltenham Festival winner. Um, it's been great, the success we've had this season on the flat. It's probably our best year to date. Uh, I think we've won over £500,000 in prize money. Speedo Boy was in um, France and he won a listed race. We've done some other bits and bobs in France and we've had a great time in Dubai. So this year's been, been a fantastic year for us. I think 42 winners on, on the flat this year? 42 on the flat this year. And uh, we were desperate to get to the half a million. Um, London Prize in the Cesarevich earlier in the year, I thought he just might kick us over that. Um, his second was fantastic, but it would have been wonderful to win. But um, Roger Charlton, being a very good flat trainer, managed to find one that was slow enough and could gallop for long enough to beat him. So um, that was uh, it was a great result to finish mm. second, but would dearly love to have won that race. Now, how difficult is it when you've got a horse as effective over hurdles, effective on the flat? Is there anything different you need to do in their preparation when you're switching codes with them? Um, yeah, obviously, predominantly horses need to be fit. Um, so. There's, there's quite a... Uh, horses need to be fitter for national hunt racing than they do flat racing. They can get away with um, not being quite as sharp flat racing, shall we say, or not as fit. Um, but, but ultimately, if, if you've got a, a fit and healthy horse uh, that has attributes of galloping, uh, has the physique that's able to jump, uh, 